Welcome to a new edition of Two-Year-Olds in Training for the Harness Edge. I'm Harold Howe and I'm here at Back Stables of Campbellville with Matt Bax. Matt, we're here to talk about some two-year-olds. Just before that, you've got 28 in total here for the for the winter? Yes. And 10 two-year-olds. 10 two-year-olds. Two but you're not in Florida. <laughs> Somebody else is in Florida. Yeah. And, but you've been down on a regular basis for trips to, to be spelled off. No, right? that, that wasn't in the collective bargaining agreement. And, and with, with, you got 28 head, and there's, what, seven or eight down there. So you've been getting a lot more money. <laughs> you would think. I would think you should meet up with the agent for Toronto Maple Leafs coach Mag, um, Mike Babcock. I think he could help you on this deal. <laughs> he got $6 million. A year? Yeah, yeah. Let's talk two-year-old. We brought it at six today. Let's start off with Where We Trip. Now, this is Majestic Sun Philly from Where We Farm, 30000 at the Canadian Yearling Sale. Yeah, she's a, she's a nice filly. She's she's pretty game, which is most Majestic Suns are. Um, you guys really like Majestic Sun, and I've always felt that he never maybe got the recognition he should have got. I, no, I, I don't really think he got the, the greatest mares and... Um, you know, he gives that ability to step up into a Grand Circuit horse, just like Cadabra. So you kind of always look for that in a sire. And affordable. Yep, yep. Affordable. Very affordable near the end. All right. Now, um, as part of that set, you drove a filly by Justice Hall called Yokomotion. This came from uh, the Waple stable. It's a shock to see there's a balanced image in this pedigree. Uh, 22000 at the Canadian sale as well. Well, actually, my dad, uh, he trained the, the mare that was the balanced image in there. So uh, he was a little partial to that. Uh, yeah, she was, we were looking at another horse in the sale and weren't really looking for a Justice Hall, but uh, he caught his eye and looked at her, and that balanced image being later in the pedigree really helped. Uh, she's been going along great. Can't ask for much more than that. And just in case anybody doesn't pick it up, today the wind was wild, and... Uh, you know, we're just at the hour of the day, the track's starting to get a little mushy and so forth. But where are you overall with your group time-wise? Uh, almost all of them are around uh, 45 right now. Okay, uh, let's talk Delcrest Holiday. Now, this is a Holiday Road Colt, bred by Doug Delaney. Bargain Basement, 9000 at the Canadian sale. How'd that come about? Uh, well, you know, actually we went out to the farm, took a look at them. You know, he's a big, strong-looking horse. Uh, you know, maybe not many people like the, like the Holiday Roads, but we've had some success with them. Hemi Seals for yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah, I took a shot on him. We'll see. He's been doing everything right. Can't ask for much more. And in that set, you had the uh, stablemate Sicario. Now, this is a Holiday Road out of Gypsy Balance, which many people remember was a terrific mare. Made a million dollars, largely up here. Uh, for owner Dave Hudson, who's retained her. Gosh, she's been a disappointment as a broodmare. I mean, and, you know, she did sell one for 150000 a number of years ago, but here he's kept this fellow, and um, what do you think? Yeah, uh, he's, he's a little, little late in the growing stages, but uh, he, he's slowly putting it all together. He's, he's got the same attitude as, uh, I assume, his mother being a balanced image is. He, he wants to go. So, um, yeah, go, going forward, I, I don't know what, we've had uh, one sister to him before, and uh, she, she was a nice horse, but wasn't, you know, grand circuit like uh, his mother, but, uh, you know, finger, fingers crossed with him. We like, like Holiday Road, so. <laughs> well, we got another one here, Dalliant Sealster. This is a filly, uh, half-sister to Duchess Sealster, who people maybe remember made a little over a quarter of a million, obviously Sealster Farms. Number one in the catalog of the Forest City sale, thirty thousand. Yeah, she. Uh, I think she. Yeah, she's number one in the sale. Um, I don't know. Jim Bullock really liked her, and we thought that she was one of the nicest looking individuals at Sealster Farms. Uh, again, we weren't scared of the Holiday Road, so we think that you get a little more value for that. Uh, but yeah, she's a big, strong. Looks like a Holiday Road. Very smooth. And then an interesting one that went with her. Monarch Butterfly. Now this is a Muscle Hill filly out of Armbro Monarch, who everybody remembers did nothing but make money. Al Libfeld um, bred her, and obviously half-sister Duke of York that 
nobody knows better than you guys did, just short of a million. It took 30000 to get her in Lexington. Yeah, she was a little bit of a value buy, I, I guess. Um, now, she didn't have many uh, fillies. So being a Muscle Hill filly down the road, she probably has quite a bit of value as a broodmare. But, uh, Monarch was a little girl. How is this filly going to end up when it's all said and done? I, I think she's going to be small as well. She's a little on the smaller side, which is maybe what reflects in the price. But uh, she's very, very thick, strong, and very smooth over the ground, a lot like uh, her brother. So that's, I guess that's a good sign. Absolutely. Okay, well, I appreciate your thoughts. And uh, I don't know it's worth going to Florida now. I mean, winter's almost over, but I'll mention it. <laughs> John Box down there. So anyway, thanks very much, and uh, um, good luck in the weeks ahead. All right. Thank you, Harold. Harold Howe with Matt Box, two-year-olds in training.